Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. A few days ago, we hopped over onto our Facebook page and we asked the question, would anybody be interested in seeing a few cooking videos uh, showing how we prepare some of the animals that we take from the field? Guys, we had a really lot of, we really had a lot of great feedback. Uh, it was really cool. I was really excited to be receiving phone calls and text messages over people asking us if we can make specific dishes and things like that. So guys, it was really cool to get all that feedback. So we are going to be doing these cooking videos. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jonathan Witter, and my passion is the great outdoors. Everything from hunting to fishing, in any way that I can do it, whether it be noodling, hand grabbing, fishing for perch, uh, cat fishing for big fish, going out spoonbill snagging, everything from hunting for, for deer, turkey, pigs, with dogs, with outdoors, with spears, knives, guns, boats. My passion is the great outdoors. But the passion that follows that right along behind it, as you can probably tell by looking at me, eating. I love to eat. With that being said, I love cooking. Cooking the animals that I'm able to harvest from the field is such a great satisfaction for me. Being able to reap the benefits of not only the beauty of the hunt, but also the tastiness of the food that I get to eat that evening. So guys, y'all be sure to stay tuned, watch this video. As I make more of these videos, make sure to let me know what y'all would like to see in the comments below the video. So guys, stay tuned because we are getting ready to make a very delicious meal. I hope y'all enjoy. Hey guys, one thing that I hope y'all noticed right there was how clean that deer meat was. If you noticed, it was really light colored. Reason being is because I like to soak my, uh, it doesn't matter if it's steak, roast, brisket, ribs, it doesn't matter. Anytime I'm pulling anything off of wild game, one thing that I love to do is soak it in alcohol. The cheapest beer I can find at the store will work perfectly. The reason being I like to use alcohol rather than salt water is salt is a natural preservative gets down into the meat and that meat acts like a sponge. It's sucking it all up. So you're doing two things. One, you're sending your meat into more of a preservative state instead of a tenderizing state. And the other part of that is it can come out super salty. So not only are you still going to get that gamey flavor that a lot of people don't enjoy, you're going to be getting a very salty meat. So we're going to avoid that by using alcohol. Guys, 